Yeah. I have a few things to finish up. I'm not avoiding you. Hmm? What makes you think I'm still angry? Well, I'm sorry I'm not in the mood to talk. I'm sorry I can't put into words how I'm feeling. Okay, I am still angry. More than that, I'm just upset. We don't argue often. I just don't know how to deal with this, okay? Yeah, I guess first steps was to cool off. <laughs> I've definitely cooled off in the last hour. Okay, I'll, I'll sit down with you. How am I feeling? I told you I'm upset with you and I just, I feel tired. Actually, I'm exhausted. I feel completely drained now. How are you feeling? Pretty much the same, huh? We both said what we needed to say and a little extra to spice it up. I, I don't think we need to go over it again. Because I get where you're coming from, but you can't pretend what I said wasn't valid either. I'm glad to hear that you agree with that. We'll just have to meet in the middle, somehow. I'm sure we can think of something. We will, we generally do. Long before it gets to this point. I don't like arguing with you. It just feels so unnatural, and... It feels like it hurts my heart. I'm sorry too. Please let's not argue again. Can you at least pretend for a bit that we won't ever argue again? I understand there will be times we don't agree on things. We just have to be grown-ups about it. Actually, no, I take that back. We should be children about it. Yes, I'll call you a big poopy head and steal one of your toys until you come to me to say sorry. Or we just forget about it after five minutes of running around making a mess. Yeah, kids have it all figured out, all right. Why did I stop and leave at the end? <sighs> I've not been in the healthiest relationships in my life. My ex would just wait till I apologised and made up. Yeah. Mm. I was a fool to expect an apology in return. Not that it ever came. But I was quite young back then. Not as world-weary as I am now. <laughs> After I broke off that relationship, I didn't realise, but I guess I just shut down. I wasn't as open as I was before, and I became a mixture of avoiding confrontation and refusing to wear my heart on my sleeve. Yeah, so that no one could use my emotions against me. I know you would never do that. But I guess I'd already cultivated this, I guess, defense mechanism. Oh, I've definitely learned to drop those defenses around you, baby. They rarely, if ever, flare up because of you. Believe me. I can honestly, hand on heart, say that I feel safe around you. You've always made me feel safe. <laughs> I have to put my hand on your heart. Okay, here. Believe me now? You want me to say it? Out loud? Vampire. <laughs> Nothing. Just a super obscure reference. <sighs> Here, my hand on your chest. I trust you, 
as much as, if not possibly more, than I trust myself. And I've never felt as safe with anyone as much as I do with you. You want me to promise you something? And what's that? I promise you that I'll keep you on the inside of any walls that I might have up. I promise I'll speak to you about anything that's bothering me, no matter how big or small. I promise not to bottle anything up. You have to promise me something too. Anything, huh? No take backs. Let's promise not to argue at all with one another. Yeah, that would be perfect, wouldn't it? Well, I for one believe in you. You can do anything that you put your mind to. (laughs) Yes, you can hug me again. (sighs) You don't need to ask. Even if I'm angry, I could never say no to your hugs. Mm. They're like a drug to me. Mm. What would that make your kisses? Mm. Your kisses are my air. You're right. We shouldn't stop. But hey, don't think you're getting off that easy. No, you're not off the hook at all. Hmm, I don't know what I want yet. Why do I have to think of something quickly? Am I on a timer? Okay, fine. Let me think for a second. Don't distract me, you big cheater. I'll have to extend my time if you carry on the way you're going. Oh, I'm not allowed to do that. Hmm. Who said you could make up all these rules? You can't just kiss me to shut me up, you know? Yeah, you are making quite the habit of it these days. Hmm. Hmm. No, I can't say that I'm complaining. No, no, wait a second. I've decided. I want to spend a whole day with you at home, not going out. Just the whole day in our PJs. You're right, I'm not a fan of PJs. (laughs) And food, and movies, some gaming. Yeah, we can build on the house in Minecraft. That's definitely a whole day's project, though. To be fair, we could dedicate an entire weekend to that. Is that all? Should I add more? Shall we turn it into a week-long romp? (laughs) How is that only half of it? What am I going to do for you? I suppose that is only fair. I ought to give you the same treatment. You have ten seconds to decide. Uh Uh-uh, decide quickly. No time extensions allowed. Oh, you don't need a time extension, you say? That was very quick. A bit too quick, if you ask me. I'm afraid to ask you now. (laughs) I should be afraid to ask. (laughs) Okay, I won't ask then. (laughs) Let me go, what is this use of brute force when you don't get your own way? Yeah, it's because you're a brute. Well, that answers a lot of questions. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing at all. (laughs) Was this all just a trick to get me onto your lap? And more. Like what? Hey... (laughs) It tickles. You're not allowed to do that. Why? You know exactly why. (laughs) Because it makes me melt. (sighs) 
Babe. <laughs> and you have still not told me what you wanted. You are using non-verbal cues to explain it to me. I'm afraid I'm just not getting the message. <laughs> not to mention, my love, your time ran out quite a while ago. Mm-hmm. But I'll let it slide, just this time though. I won't be lenient the next time. <laughs> you have ways to bend me to your will. And do you happen to have a ring of unlimited power hidden in your pocket, sis? Oh, you do. Can I have a look-see at it? I just want to take a look. What are you so afraid of? <laughs> hmm. I feel better, baby. Much better now that I'm in your arms. <sighs> Let us not argue again. Mm. We should have a system in place. Yeah, so if we have a disagreement, we could have a debate. Present our cases and weigh up the pros and cons and come to a mutual agreement. Yeah, it sounds way too civilized for us. <laughs> you are a brute after all. Mm-hmm. I'm too civilized for all your savagery. <laughs> hey, are you trying to bite me? Oh. Oh, not trying. See, this is exactly what I meant. To be fair, though, if we do have a proper debate, I am likely to win and... If I can't beat a savage, then there's no hope for me regardless. Maybe you'll let me win? Well, it's always in your best interest to let me win. So you're definitely playing your cards right. <laughs> you're a bit of a gambler. Well, that's not really saying much, is it? Hmm, are you a bad gambler or are you quite lucky? It's no fun if you're always losing. Lucky, huh? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Why wait? <laughs> you're feeling lucky, punk. Well, you seem awfully confident. <laughs> You'll never lose as long as you have your good luck charm. This is the first I've heard of this. You've never mentioned this to me. Come on, tell me. It's right here. What, do you have a lucky rabbit's foot in your pocket or something? In your lap? Where? On your lips? What are you talking? Yes, I'm a bit dense sometimes. <laughs> You big flirt. No, nothing wrong with flirting with your girlfriend. <sighs> You're my big flirt. Uh huh, mine. Are you gonna keep asking me if I'm feeling better? <laughs> You'll keep asking until I'm feeling better than better. Well then, I might have to keep you here forever then. Mm-hmm. It would be very tricksy of me to do such a thing, but not cruel. Mm. Well, I have only your best interests at heart. And why would I not want to keep you close, huh? Mm. Yeah, it's where I feel the happiest. Anyway... When shall we schedule our day of bliss? A whole weekend, you say? And we could always start our weekend a little earlier. Exactly. A long weekend never hurt anybody. And you've still not told me what you wanted to do yet. 